Prisha, let's start. Unmute. Yes. A very good morning to one and all present here. I am Prisha and I welcome you all on behalf of FCB Forum to this knowledge sharing series program. This is a one initiative taken by FCP Forum to share their experiences and knowledges of industry experts with our associates who are working in the field of fluid convenience program, uh, pro products. So before we begin with the session, I would like to invite Mr. Nitesh Kataria sir to apprise about the vision and mission of FCP Index to the audience. Thank you, Prisha. So I just share my screen. So, yes, this is screen is visible to all. Yeah. So, uh, good afternoon. So, I just uh, give you some brief uh, uh, details about FCP Forum, what we are doing uh, in this FC for FCP Forum, and what are the objectives. So, uh, basically, uh, this FCP Forum is an exclusive platform for professionals, business owners, technocrats, entrepreneurs, investors, and service providers who are associated with hydraulic, industrial, PTFE, thermoplastic hose, other industrial hoses, hose assemblies, perform metal tube assemblies, nylon tube, fuel line assemblies, high pressure fuel injection tube, fittings, adapters, quick, up, quick release coupling, hose assembly machine, means anything related to fluid conveyance products. So we are just providing this platform and the objective of this platform is very simple, coming together, staying together and growing together. In India, almost 25,000 small and medium companies are there, manufacturing companies are there who are like manufacturing all these type of different products and uh, almost like more than two lakh professionals, entrepreneurs and business owners are there who are engaged in the business of food conveyance products. So this is like a place to grow yourself, a place to grow yourself and your business also basically. So it not only provides the technical support, it holds your hand to the next level. So it, this is just FCP forum, what, what we are doing basically. So uh, get trained. So different type of uh, training facilities are there uh, in, in hydraulic hoses, lean manufacturing system, uh, basic hydraulics, advanced hydraulics. Then learn the, the kind of knowledge sharing series we have started already five programs, uh, uh, four programs we have conducted, conducted, this one is the fifth program. So knowledge sharing series, then network. So uh, one can be a part of this FCP forum and exchange ideas and get networked with, with industry expert, sustain. So we are just coming up with FCP uh, like uh, newsletter. So all the information will be there related to fluid conveyance and off highway industry grow. So uh, we are also having this uh, FCP uh, job reference program. So uh, that is also very important and innovate. So uh, uh, one can have the uh, um, uh, this thing uh, they can connect with the experts and get resolve their their queries, queries and other things. So there are basically seven things, seven services. Uh, this FCP forum uh, we are providing on on this platform. So uh, as I told you, knowledge sharing series is there. So every second and fourth Saturday we are conducting this program at 3 p.m. It's about like. Uh, a uh, webinar will be there for one hour and after that around 4.30 minutes, uh, there will be a question and answer session. So a small topics related to food conveyance and, uh, it's, uh, and, and other products like uh, uh, the first program was conducted by Mr. Amrish Chatterjee about hydraulic hoses and uh, overview. Second program was conducted by Mr. Uh, Mr. Krishna Kulkarni about fluid cleanliness. Third program was conducted by Mr. Nikhil about host threads. Fourth program was conducted by Mr. Mansoor Ali about uh, 
importance of post preparation and uh, crimping so every second and fourth saturday will be having this program and this program will be uh, on the free of cost basis we are not going to charge anything uh, for this this program so that is there then second one is ask the expert so uh, any manufacturer or any assemblers if if he has got any query a small query about about uh, any doubt is there uh, we will share one um, whatsapp number he can uh, like uh, he can uh, ask uh, his question in any language basically be it hindi english or any vernacular language also so he just have to send his query on that whatsapp number whatsapp number and within 24 hours or 48 hours his like uh, query will be resolved and the answer will be given uh, to his question so uh, this ask the expert is there then fcp times it it is a monthly newsletter and it will provide information about new projects and new products whatever new products are being launched uh, in fcp uh, industry new hoses or new fittings or any new player is coming up uh, in this market apart from this we will also be providing uh, off highway sales data like uh, excavator sale uh, then uh, backhaul order compactors uh, market forecast uh, new product launches and uh, any any relevant uh, topics will be covered in this fcp times and it will be like monthly newsletter so again it will be on the free of cost basis we are not going to charge anything of, uh, to avail the uh, services of this fcp times then job reference is there again it's a it's a big challenge to get uh, right kind of resources in the industry so uh, we will be providing this uh, services to the uh, member who will sus subscribe to the fcp forum so anyone like uh, uh, sales engineer or design engineer or the product uh, management developer so any one uh, like if if, if uh, any requirement is there for the resources we can help them to get the right type right kind of resources so this is also there uh, this uh, this flash cell support uh, like it is very useful um, uh, service we are we will we are going to provide uh, like uh, if if you got some if you got some dead stock or slow moving stop in your company or in your manufacturing facility then you you can share the details to to fcp forum people and uh, uh, we will help in liquidating that dead stock or uh, slow moving stock so uh, that is also their flash cell support access to exclusive whatsapp groups we are already having few few uh, whatsapp group so uh, the subscribers will be like given chance to um, join this uh, whatsapp group where they can exchange their their information and uh, uh, other details on on this forum and uh, last one is tender news like uh, you see like uh, most of these government uh, organizations like railways or defense or steel plants or or mining industry they they uh, go with the with the tender process so we will be providing information about the tender what kind of tenders are get, getting released or uh, which company has issued this tender so on the regular basis we will be providing information about the tender uh, news to subscriber of this fcp forum uh, who all should join fcp forum so anyone uh, who is manufacturer of uh, hydraulic hoses industrial hoses teflon ptfe hoses brake hoses etc then uh, hydraulic and teflon hose mm -hmm. assemblies manufacturers mm -hmm. fitting and component manufacturers hydraulic fitting manufacturers quick release coupling means anyone who is like manufacturing all these fcp products who, uh, that that person or employee of that person can join this fcp forum then distributors dealers traders who are engaged in the selling of these products he can also join this fcp forum and professionals like sales marketing business development professionals of hydraulic and industrial hoses uh, Uh, a sales person of qrc fitting and other components design engineers application engineers quality inspectors of oems service engineers in fluid conveyance and hydraulics trained professionals in quality vav management systems of fluid conveyance certified certified professionals in hose integrity in inspection and management and safety professionals in fluid conveyance industry so anyone like who is manufacturers uh, who is like 
trader or the professional, uh, they can join this FCP forum. Uh, in the short while, maybe in next couple of weeks, we will be like sharing the more details about uh, this FCP forum and how they can join this forum. We will be providing all these details. So this is all about FCP forum. So learn, grow and succeed. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Nitesh Kataria, sir, for briefing out about FCP index. So now I would introduce the speaker of today's technical webinar, Mr. Anup Pillai, sir. Mr. Anup Pillai is having more than 30 years of experience in fluid conveyance, industry for design, in innovation, and manufacturing. He was instrumental in bringing down accidents in alternative fuel like CNG and LPG vehicles due to gas leakages. Mr. Pillay is developer of 9C concepts in host assembly fabrication technique. He has applied for six patents and copyrights all in the hose and tubes assembly related industry. So now I would uh, like to invite Mr. Anup sir to start with today's session on various types of protective sleeves and covers of hoses. And also to add on, I would request all their mic on mute. And also if they have any question related to the session, they can put that into the uh, chat box. So I would request Mr. Anup sir to start with the session. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Prisha. Good afternoon, all delegates. Welcome to this. Welcome to FCP Index. Can you see my uh, screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Request everyone to mute your mobile phone for voice calls for the smooth for a smooth and interactive session. See, first of all, we do disclaim that we do not endorse any particular brand or manufacturer. We represent the fluid conveyance in our world. So, FCP interaction connection, they, uh, they, uh, like Nideshi told, there are three verticals. One is FCP Prime, FCP Training, FCP Forum. Under FCP Forum, Under the knowledge sharing series scheme uh, uh, series, we uh, you know uh, share the uh, to enhance the knowledge of the members. We every second and fourth Saturday, we conduct these technical webinars, and this is uh, the fifth one of that uh, in in that uh, series. It is all about the external protection methods for host assemblies. So there are various external protection materials available. Uh, across, you know, uh, there are helical uh, coils available. Uh, there are a wide range of spiral traps. Sorry, one minute. There are helical coil springs, spiral traps, nylon abrasion resistant sleeves, fire protection sleeves, insulation blankets, wire braids. Basically, helical uh, coil springs available metal as well as in plastic. Wide range of spiral drives available uh, in uh, HDP as well as in metal. High abrasion resistance uh, sleeves uh, available for uh, individual hoses as well as hose bundles. Fire protection fiberglass insulated available in silicone as well as uh, in aluminum. Insulation blanket sleeves for resistance, uh, you know, uh, 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 available for various application. SS wire braiding, GI stainless, etc. So, why this uh, protective covers? A common issue: hydraulic lines, circuits occurs when hose rubs against each other, or hose or any other part of the machines. Basically, it is abrasion. Uh, uh, majorly in earth moving machines and all mobile app applications, there are uh, rubbing against uh, the machines. When machine is in operation, this moment can be caused by pressurized fluid beginning to flow through the hose or the general vibration in the machine, or maybe design space constraints because we need bend restrictors. Uh, uh, things. This type of abrasive rubbing weakens the hose and eventually leads to leak and failure. So how you can prevent this? See, uh, the first one is whether we can reroute the hose or if you cannot reroute, then invest in protective guard or cover of 
for the host involved so host protection from harsh environment such as high temperature maybe surrounding temperature not the internal one internal one there are many hose developed by the host manufacturers salt water ma majorly for uh, you know marine application and uh, all those related activity mud then oil high abrasion ultraviolet ozone dust splatters and metal chips so hose protection from harsh environment again is yes, hose protection from harsh environment such as cable management bundling of hose assemblies robotic welding wet well drilling mud pumping construction equipments ocean maintenance offshore oil rigging abrasion environment wet environment ultraviolet high temperature welding mining and general hoses so first one these springs helical springs it is available in various metal spring steel stainless steel uh, say ss3304 316 also in plastic different colors because mostly major majority of the uh, majority of the uh, uh, customers they need color coded springs sometimes to identify the hose hose line and the hose uh, category mainly the springs protect the hose cover and reinforcement from uh, you know uh, abrasion if it is close pitch springs there are uh, you know different pitches uh, we can see it here uh, the uh, last one is uh, you know this one is close pitch and this is you know with some pitches so hose to hose contact damage can uh, it uh, and uh, accidental damage can protect because of the springs usually the springs rest over the hose in free condition and for better results you can crimp with soft material like aluminum rings without affecting the crimp ferrule dimensions you can you can uh, fix it because uh, it should not lag uh, through of the fix if it is a moving hose then spiral wraps these are available in high density polyethylene and also in metal flats hdp spirals are commonly used for individual hoses can also be hose for hose bundling but there is some differences see this can be in flat this can be in uh, semi round uh, see this is these are the flat one these are the semi round one it uh, there are application wise uh, regarding bend radius this these are been used in uh, highly flexible hoses these are the uh, because it resists some sort of bend radius so mainly this uh, spiral wraps protect hose cover and reinforcement from, from abrasion hose to hose contacts and accidental damages normally a cable tie or an adhesive tape are used to fix the ends most aesthetic will be to use a rubber band a high width one or a reasonable uh, you know sh shrink sleeves for better durability and controlled movement of wraps next is nylon sleeves see nylon sleeves are made of recyclable polyester ps it is easy to install it is easy to install and its abrasion resistance degradation protection is excellent larger size wraps are available for protecting a bundle of assemblies see uh, you can you can see it here it's a, it's a, you know with a, a, a zipper mode you can you can protect a bundle of assemblies main use of these sleeves are uh, uh, ultraviolet protection pin hole protection which is a major uh, concern in hose assemblies and these are as per iso 3457 and iso 4413 these sleeves are resistant to most of the acids oil and solvents so external protection is very much uh, protected and aluminum ferrule is uh, used uh, you know to fix this at both ends like this uh, it's a small uh, kind of aluminum ferrule is used to fix this sleeve both ends are crimp sockets now the uh, major one is fire sleeves fire sleeves are uh, produced from woven insulated glass fiber uh, fiber sleeve that is heavily coated with a 100% iron oxide silicon rubber now nowadays there is an issue with silicon rubber uh, uh, due to availability of uh, you know silicon maybe the manufacturers can tell the difficulties in uh, getting those these sleeves can withstand up to 1600 degrees centigrade ambient heat and 260 degrees centigrade of direct continuous heat which make it perfect for insulating wires hydraulic and fuel lines 
from underboned uh, heat. Majorly, it has been used in steel plants, marine applications. It is a it's a mandatory thing because it resists to the uh, uh, you know he, uh, fire test ISO one five five four zero related test. So this is most important. And aluminium ferrule, like we what we saw in the last slide, and aluminium ferrule is required to pick the sleeves at both end of the crimp uh, socket. Nowadays, uh, majority of the manufacturers are coming up with various colors to identify the hose light, you know, uh, 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 different colors. The, this was the traditional color, red one, but now it is available in different colors also. So again, uh, expandable uh, sleeves. Constructed from a smooth uh, uh, glass fiber yarn, braided at high yield angles to allow for approximately 25% expansion and contraction and heavy wall, uh, uh, wall braided glass fiber sleeve. Say like Anaconda, it eats up all, maybe 25% expansion. So it is uh, there is no harm to the bend radius of the hose. This expandable braided uh, glass fiber sleeve capable of operating at a continuous temperature of 1000 degree Fahrenheit, that is about 538 degrees centigrade. Designed to expand and contract by approximately 25% of its normal size, the smooth glass fiber yarn is heat clean and coated with an acrylic statuette to eliminate loose fibers and enhance handling characteristics and improve abrasion resistance. See, uh, majorly it is used for uh, heat transfers to avoid the heat transfers. And aluminum ferrule is required to fix the sleeves at both ends. Uh, once again. Next is insulation blanket, blanket sleeves. You know, heat reflective fire sleeve is fabricated from fire blanket. This has two layers of aluminum coating and a protective sleeve. All laminated to specially designed heavy grade armite uh, fiber cloth by means of heat stable adhesive. The aluminum layers will not uh, de-eliminate from uh, the cloth even under the most extreme heat conditions because the adhesion is so perfect that it will not delaminate. Lab tested at 3000 degree Fahrenheit, that is up to 1650 degrees centigrade for one minute. This sleeve reflects at least 90% of radiant heat energy. It has been used for, you know, uh, majorly fuels being used in steel plants. And aluminum ferrule is required to fix uh, the sleeves. Again, the same procedure. Then comes a uh, bigger chapter, that is wire braiding. A wide range of wire braiding are available for various applications. But here, the most care is to be taken while crimping, as wire braiding has to go inside the host crimp sockets and deriving crimp specification will be the challenge. Special care to be taken for high pressure, ultra high pressure applications. Here you need to go for factory made braiding rather than traditional braid sleeves, what we popularly call as Jali, SS ki Jali, GA ki Jali, yo, what, whatever we call, because this has to go with the trim sockets. So here are the different uh, you know, kinds of uh, braiding. The uh, one is, you know, uh, Stainless steel braid or GA braid. Here, high tensile uh, ASI 304 uh, uh, stainless steel or even 321 or 316. GA wire uh, or a GA wire is used to give N. This has been only to uh, majorly been used to, uh, for enhanced pressure resistance. Enhanced pressure resistance and external protection to the hose. Then GI uh, if you call GI vibrate the most economical version, have limited or uh, chemical corrosion resistivity, but it is good for abrasion resistivity and working pressure enhancement. Then there is Hastelloy. Hastelloy wire braid is used instead of SS wire, where severe chemical corrosion conditions exist around the outside of the hose. The most usual way in which this can happen in where chlorine, bromine, hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen chloride, or phosgene are being transferred. So this is one of the very critical things where the assemblers 
have to choose wisely then copper wire copper braid will be uh, provide high flexibility and excellent current transmission for your demanding uses maybe it is used for fuel transmission like methane ethanol and all this uh, copper braid is uh, a better solution then kynar braid kynar is a polyvinylidene fluoridine mo monofilament this is used in the same application as acetyloy braid but only in a application where reduced pressure ratings of kyb as listed are acceptable then polypropylene polypropylene is easier oven it is a lighter in weight and many this any broken stand will not cut the operator's hand because it is not wire in addition this polypropylene is not prone to chlorine stress uh, corrosion and has generally good chemical resistance the next one is epdm cover epdm rubber cover uh, uh, can this is most drug application where the hose may be subject to rough treatment and severe external abrasion also for hygienic applications where the external cleanability of the hose is of prime importance and in applications where the hose is required to be fire proof or to have an anti static cover then the last one is silicon transparent rubber cover where the hose may be required to withstand temperatures from uh, minus 73 degree centigrade or minus 100 degree fahrenheit up to 224 degree centigrade or 435 degree fahrenheit this platinum cured silicon cover is semi transparent allowing visual monitoring of the uh, braid the external cover the last cover of the uh, traditional hose then other types uh, there are asbestos containing fire sleeves asbestos containing because asbestos is prohibited in many of the countries even in india due to environmental uh, restrictions it is prohibited but there are asbestos containing fire sleeves which are allowed uh, asbestos containing fire sleeves it is been used as a fire protection measure this helps the hose life extremely long through characteristics of abrasion and weather resistance you get high flexibility together with adequate toughness to help passing the electrical cable assembly through the hose major application of the cover are hose is recommended for furnace coolant electrical cable coolant application in steel industry and other non conductive applications so other covers you know thermoplastic rubber bend restrictor uh, these are one of the ma major uh, requirement in uh, which has to work along with thermoplastic hoses this prevent the premature hose failures at the coupling by reducing the chance of kinking at uh, end connection end or even in between bend restrictor because uh, normally the uh, hose assembly fails from the uh, crimp uh, portion so a bend restrictor that prevent premature hose failure at the coupling which is mandatory again there are uh, it is available in rubber in application where excessive force at the end fitting occurs it sometimes necessary to stiffen the hose in this area to prevent kinking kinking then uh, curved spring this allows you smoothly bend straight hose into molded shapes without collapsing you know by using hand pressure only ez curve bends and hold up to 90 degree angle and prevents from uh, hose from kinking kinking they can be reused and rebent then spring strain reliever it's majorly used in air hoses this uh, prevent premature hose failure at coupling by reducing ch the chance of kinking then uh, you know scuff rings the scuff ring is one of the most popular in pharmaceutical industry for medium duty application where the hose requires some protection against abrasion where dragged over the ground but a full rubber cover uh, 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 would be too heavy and you know uh, cumbersome also for those which cannot be uh, fully rubber covered then how we configure because when you uh, discuss about uh, uh, you know uh, these uh, uh, covers you have to have some uh, check sheets now what are the requirements so requirement will start from hose outside diameter sleeve diameter uh, you know by proposing consideration of flexibility and other uh, uh, methods change of hose assembly proposed length of sleeve cover then these are the pattern uh, requirements you know normal dust dirt and moisture oil chemicals heat application 
temperature range then welding application distance distance from the head others you know you, uh, they have to specify then the installation modes horizontal whether it is vertical whether it is inclined or others then bellow type how it is it should be it should be a zipper type or a velcro type or it is sewn yeah then again you have to specify the thread for sewing because that is also mandatory accessories then how you are going to fix this to the uh, uh, hose clamps crimp type flap over velcro or zipper rubber band or shrink slip or any other type so uh, this is a, a small uh, you know cover things you can uh, write to us in case of any queries any help in even in sourcing these things uh, we have these sources across we can suggest you some sources if you are not comfortable to find your own so uh, you can have the questions if any hello sir yeah my question is as you told uh, asbestos free uh, cover is used for cooling uh, cooling system of the hose right right but uh, in some breaker you know breaker pokeland in pokeland yeah. uh, yeah. breaker is there yeah so uh, there is a pipe uh, which is a spiral one right which which gone burst in 7 days okay due to due to internal hydraulic liquid heating right so for that is there any solution the, uh, see internal heat uh, it is not of uh, uh, supposed to be of any cover that that uh, you know you have to select a hose uh, a proper hose a four such hose or a r12 hose then uh, i maybe you are talking about one inch hose with m42 thread right hello hello are you there yeah he is there but uh, he is like on mute yeah hello alam bhai yes sir yeah uh, are you discussing about one inch hose with m42 thread Uh, which which hose sir are you discussing about breaker end hose yes yes breaker end hose that is m42 thread yeah yeah it is like that ha uh-huh. so if it is that then that is a issue of the hose assembly that is not of any cover issue there you have to choose the right, right hose and the right uh, uh, compatible coupling and a proper coupling. any sir, sir sir any hose we used in that whether it is parker or poly hose or gates that all go to burst in 7 days if uh, pokeland go on running uh, uh, 20 hours or 15 hours per day because 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 uh, hydraulic hydraulic liquid which goes uh, or uh, fluid inside that is uh, very much uh, having high temperature any doesn't matter because normally all the hydraulic hoses are been designed up uh, uh, designed to uh, stand up to 100 degree centigrade specially spiral spiral hoses and uh, you know uh, uh, it it sometimes take up to 120 degree intermittent uh, temperature but uh, temperature uh, not uh, might not be the uh, issue issue can be uh, uh, the end valves which have orifice issues many of the majority which breaker uh, uh, it is been uh, fitted to it is of different um, uh, it means uh, different type sir where uh, it is some tata hitachi and no no no, uh, no, 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 no. i am talking about the uh, breaker whether it is atlas scope breaker or fine breaker or any dusan or any other breaker which is a breaker uh, it is being used in various types of breaker some from uh, imported from china uh, then uh, see if if the hose fails with every breaker and every machine it's a problem of hose it is not it's a problem pro- it's a problem of hose you have to select the hose wisely because there are many good hose manufacturers 
who uh, whose brand is approved you know uh, even you can uh, uh, raise the from where you are buying the hose hose actually uh, i i bought from uh, delhi sir see uh, you write to us i'll i'll give you a, a, a proper suggestion uh, my email id is given at the end you, uh, uh, you you can write to me this is the email id info at fcpindex.com will give you a proper solution to that no, okay no okay and one one more question i have sir huh? when uh, when we uh, when we make uh, jcb hose uh, which is of length 3 meter 3.5 meter okay so uh -huh. when when we cover it with sleeve then it is very difficult to insert the hose fibered hose inside the sleeve which kind of sleeve are you using the spiral wraps or any other different uh, i am using uh, complete uh, complete sleeve see, complete see. sleeve pipe so, type see. sleeve aapne aapne ye low pressure hose ki cap dekha hai apna uh, diesel diesel pipe ka यस यस देखा है सर वैसे क्या आप उसका सूटेबल ले लो पहले उसके पहले उसको पहना दो अच्छा ठीक है और उसके बाद आप स्लीव पाइप स्लीव के अंदर से डाल दो तो फटाक से चला जाएगा लेकिन तो फिर भी बहुत मतलब दिक्कत से जाता है ना सर उसका कोई मतलब प्रैक्टिकल सॉल्यूशन जो मतलब एक हॉस को डालने में उसमें लुब्रिकेंट भी ऊपर से ग्रीस वगैरह भी डालना पड़ता है नहीं 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 गलत है देखिए आपको मैं बोले एक तो सबसे पहले स्लीव की सिलेक्शन प्रॉपरली करिए और सेकेंडली सेकेंडली होस के ऊपर अपना लो प्रेशर की कैप डालिए ज्यादा थिकनेस नहीं होगी तो ये होस काटने के बाद उसका वायर थोड़ा सा निकलता है ना तो जाने में तकलीफ होता है इसी वजह से ना हाँ तो वो लो प्रेशर लेकिन कुछ कुछ स्लीव क्या होता है ना सर हार्ड हार्ड होता है सम स्लीव आर वेरी हार्ड नहीं 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 सर इफ द ऑफ स्लीव इज समझिए टू एम एम और टू पॉइंट फाइव एम एम हार्ड हार्ड स्लीव वो पूरा राउंड हो जाता है ना कर्व हो जाता है नहीं नहीं सर उसको सीधा पकड़ के कर सकते हैं सर उसको पहले थोड़ा सा एयर मार के उसको थोड़ा सा फुगवा लीजिए और उसके बाद एकदम ये लो प्रेशर की क्या डाले तो जाएगा आप मेरे को आप मेरे को अपना जितना भी क्यों रही है आप मेरे को मेल करिए मंजर यू विल गेट इट हाँ आप अपना नंबर शेयर कर दीजिए मंजर साहब आप अपना नंबर शेयर कर दीजिए हमारी टीम के साथ कोर्डिनेट करके आपकी जो भी क्वेरीज है ना उसको रिजोल्व करेगी सर कहाँ पे बेस्ड है आप कहाँ पे है धनबाद सर धनबाद झारखंड ओके 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 आप अपना नंबर जो है ना इसमें चैट बॉक्स बॉक्स में आप डाल दीजिए हम आपसे कांटेक्ट करते हैं ओके सर थैंक यू सर एनी एनी अदर क्वेश्चन इसको स्टॉप शेयरिंग कर दीजिए अनुप साहब ये इसको हटा दो तब तक सब यस कोई क्वेश्चन है क्या अली अली असगर सर कोई क्वेश्चन हेलो हाँ अली भाई कोई क्वेश्चन है क्या इससे रिलेटेड ओके ओके बासु सर या इट वाज गुड लिसनिंग ओके सर ओके ओके क्वेश्चन सर सर ओके सर सर सो कैन वी कंक्लूड केतन केतन सर गणेश सर वीरना सर एनी एनी क्वेश्चन इज देयर नो नो सर नो सर ओके सो विल शेयर द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ दिस सेशन आल्सो ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सो यू कैन Uh, have look up on them and you can share that recording to your contacts also and anyone in your your organization so uh, can we conclude
yes yes we can conclude okay then uh, thank you uh, all the participants for joining this session so on 26th of uh, this month we'll be having a uh, session on uh, teflon hoses so that session will be conducted by uh, mr savio he is like uh, basically owner of uh, advanced fluoro so on 26th we'll be having uh, this uh, technical webinar on teflon hose so thank you very much for attending uh, this technical webinar uh thank you thank you thank you thank you all okay thank you anup sir thank you thank you Nitesh, yes, sir. Uh, what is the name of the YouTube uh, channel? Like, uh... Uh, sir, I will uh, I will share you the link. It's I think FCP forum. I I just share you the link, sir. Just a minute, sir. I've got it. I've got okay. it. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. Bye. Bye, sir.